What's going on everyone and today I am doing something a bit different. Normally you'll probably just see Simpsons hit and run gameplay on my channel but I have something. It's the Switch. Ah, been waiting for this for absolute ages. Well, say ages. Not really ages. Like a month or something. But it feels a lot longer than what it was. So yeah, I thought I'd just unbox it. And uh, show you guys what it's all about. So I've taken that bit off. And you've got instructions. Right there. It's a nice way to do instructions. Charge your console. You know. Yeah. Step one, plug it in, for example. You know. Step two, put the switch joy-cons inside of your switch. <laughs> That's all it is. There's literally nothing else. Look, there's literally nothing else. It's just that. It's, it's boring. It's simple. But uh, yeah, if you're wondering what colour switch I have, I have the uh, neon colours. I've got this one, the blue one, and the kind of orangey kind of red one. It looks more orange on the camera, but more red in real life. I don't know. It's a bit weird. But yeah. So that's the Joy-Cons, and to be fair, I've been hearing like a lot of people being like, oh, they're not that comfortable, they're not that comfortable, but feeling them as they are, like feeling them, they're quite comfortable, you know, like they're quite, they fit quite well, but I've got kind of like small hands, so, so maybe, you know, I don't feel that kind of thing, I like it, I like, I like the feel of it, to be honest with you, I think it feels quite smooth, quite there I mean I've got like an elite controller it doesn't feel as big as an elite controller an elite controller is massive it feels feels like you're holding quality but here it doesn't it doesn't feel like you're not holding quality it still feels pretty smooth it feels pretty pretty nice to be fair I like the controllers quite a bit they're quite you can hear that Look, all clicky stuff all quite quality people are saying they're having problems with like them buttons here like your a b y and x like and your joystick down here it's a bit it's a bit fidgety i don't know i'll have to see about that learn it first hand you'll probably see some gameplay of me playing zelda anyway if i'm honest because i've got zelda let's face it everyone who's bought a switch on day one wants to play zelda or one two switch it's mostly zelda though so yeah i've got them they're quite nice i'll put them down there and i have the actual switch itself now, to be fair, it's very, very small. Like, I know people say, oh, you don't really understand how small it is until you actually get one. That's very true. Like, even that's like, you know, it's, it seems bigger than what it is. It's like, where's my iPhone? One second, I'll get my iPhone and I'll show you the size. So this is an iPhone 6, just a simple iPhone 6. And it's just, it's just like a bit bigger. Just a bit bigger. It's not too big. It's quite small, to be honest. I don't think the 720p is going to be like that much of an issue. Look at that. It's not. It's not massive. Not at all. It's quite. It's quite small. I'm quite impressed, to be honest. Really impressed about the size of that. I'm quite happy. So uh, let's put these on here, and I'll put this down, and I'll show you the dock and stuff. There's no really switch sound, is there? more of a spring, more like a spring sound than a switch sound, but uh, whatever, and there you go, it looks like that, that's exactly what it looks like, quite small, quite nimble, I like it, quite portable, it's almost, uh, feels like the same size as about my DS, like uh, my DS XL, around about that size, if anything, you know, it's just, it is what it is, it's one of them, it's a, it's a nice size, it's a good size, it's a good handheld, if, if it does fail to be a console, they can definitely sell it as a handheld, I'll say that for nothing. So yeah, I'll put that down there. And uh, what else do we get? So, we'll cover the box. That's what, it, that's, what, that's what it'll look like. You'll have your switch in there. Well, you have your Joy-Cons in there and your switch in there. So, basic stuff really. Right, getting into it. We have in here, we have, oh, my controller. It's not chargeable, you've actually got to pay like a, quite a bit of money for the chargeable control, but it feels quite smooth, it feels quite nice, it doesn't feel tacky, it feels quite solid, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, it does feel quite solid. I'll put the Joy-Cons on, 
to see this like. There's a little button at the back of here. You've probably seen it in every Switch video ever. These little buttons. But uh, you press these in and you get the Joy-Cons. Yay! Right, so. Yeah. If it goes in. There we go. Nice. And again. Boom. And if you can hear this, I don't know if you can. There you go. Two switches. Nice. And I've got little lights. Little lights, don't know, don't quite know why I've got little lights on, maybe, maybe charged, I don't know. But yeah, that does feel quite nice, to be fair. It feels weird, I'm not going to lie, it does feel weird, like holding an Xbox controller, then come to this kind of the controller, it's a bit, it's weird, it's a bit close, to, it's close together, it's like my, my fingers are touching the meat and caressing themselves almost, so yeah, it's one of them things. And I'll put that down there, we have a switch manual. Uh, you want to switch manual in here we have HDMI lead how long is this HDMI lead that's the question decent you know decent a little meter meter and a half long that's not too bad HDMI lead if you want a HDMI lead if you need another HDMI lead you've got a HDMI lead as you do alright sorry for that interruption uh, someone just knocked on the door so uh, yeah that's a thing but uh, yeah, anyway, back where we're at, we have a power cable. It's not your typical USB power cable. Well, it is. It is. It's just a USB power cable. But it's one of the new ones, if you can see. It's just like one of them little, yeah, one of the new ones with a plug on it. So uh, hopefully, maybe it'll like supercharge it or whatever. I don't know. It's for the dock anyway. So it is what it is. Now, let's get into the dock. Ugh. Here we go. Right. Unbox. Nice. And boom. There it is. There's the dock. It's not big. It's quite small. It's quite nimble. It's kind of like, if you've got a BT Home Hub, like one of them routers, it's nowhere near the size of that. It's like, it's like that much smaller. Like the actual dock. It's the same height too. So, if you ever wonder what kind of height it is, it's that kind of height. Um, we'll fire this in here. See what it looks like. Uh, right. Right, here we go. And that just must just click in like... Oh, it's in. It's in. It's actually quite smooth. You think like there'll be like a click? It's not. It just fits in like that. It's quite wobbly. If wobbly. You know how to describe that. And then, last but not least, are these. These. So if you're ever playing like you want to switch or out like that, you're not going to throw your joy cons at your screen. Like there was that massive incident where people like were ruining the TV screens because they didn't have like these essentially what click onto your arms, stop them from flinging everywhere. And they just click on, that's not even, a, that's not even the button. Oh. And you also get them buttons too now, so that must be like, you know, if you're playing like a two-player game or something like that, you've got this. It's not too bad. It really isn't. Yep, so we've got that one. And then, we've got another one. And then I'll fire that one on. Eesh. Here we go. And fire that on. Like so, and there you go. Boom. So, as you do. You're like, yo bruh, let's play a game. And then you just, you can't hold on to your Joy-Con. It's fine, you're safe. There you go. That's it. So that is my Switch unboxing. You will get some gameplay of Zelda eventually. Um, I'm just, I've still got to do the Simpsons and all that stuff, haven't I really? So, but that will be done. Uh, I will be releasing some gameplay of Zelda alongside it. Because I know you can't wait, whatever. All that stuff. Like, comment, subscribe as you do. Uh, first unboxing is a bit weird, not gonna lie. I'm kind of just talking to myself, like a second slower. It's a bit weird. But anyway, have a nice day.